Go. Alrighty, so today I am pleased to announce that we are going to do the very first Ryobi versus Ryobi video. Now, this is going to be one video out of a, a long series. And so today I did go to Home Depot. I got some uh, extremely long screws. These are 8 inch, uh, eight inch Timberlock screws. And so we are going to use the crap out of these and put them into an extremely dense log. I'm not going to use 2x4s and stack them. We're going to drive through it. All these tests are going to be conducted with thick tree logs. I figured because it would be a lot more dense and a lot more forest needs to be pushed to get them in. So it's going to be a good episode. All right, so the P239 is 2.87 pounds. It is a quarter inch uh, hex anvil inside. So like you could just put a regular uh, drill bit in there and it'll lock in place. But you could switch this out with a 3 8 inch an anvil and use this for a socket only, which is actually good. So you have that option to do that. It is 2,000 pounds of torque. Uh, variable trigger speed, which means that there's only one setting, but the harder you pull the trigger, the faster it'll go. Example, and you pull it more, it goes a little bit faster, then you, you get the idea. But then there's only one LED light on this bit, uh, on this uh, impact, and it's right there. You know, uh, there isn't anything up here, it's just on the bottom like a, like a drill. I love the design, and like I said before in a previous video, Ryobi's handle with the firm grip, it is seriously, it fits very well in my hand where my fingers aren't pressing up against each other to where it's annoying. The position of the reverse and the lock is exactly where it should be, just like on the, on the heat gun. I talked about that in the Milwaukee heat gun versus the fuel heat gun versus the one plus heat gun. And so it's the the I love the design of the handle, which the, the handle on the the other one is a little on the P238 is a little different. The P238 is 2.7 pounds. It is uh, the same thing. It is a quarter inch hex anvil inside in the aluminum housing. So there's 4,000 impacts per minute on this one. Uh, 31 RPM, and th this one is a three uh, speed. Uh, switch so you can do one It also is variable You can do two and you can do three Now as you can see just like the other one this one does have a variable speed trigger You go slow then you freeze and it goes fast So you have two options to interact with each other so you don't always have to go full on out when it comes to the trigger and this one has a three LED in the front, so this actually gives you better lighting instead of the one that beams upwards. This one casts a shadow around your uh, screw that you're trying to drive in. And so the, uh, the magnetic tray is, I'd say, three times bigger than the P239. So as you can see, the, which that does make a difference because you're able to put a little bit more on it than if it was smaller. So I like the bigger, like there's no reason for this one to have the small magnet. Just make it the same size like that's on any other drill. It would be nice to have, it's the same size of a base, so you might as well have just put the uh, same magnet in this one. Now as you can see, the hooks are different. The, this one is just a, a push-in hook to where you just squeeze this in there and then it just, uh, the force of it, uh, Retracting keeps it in place. This one you actually uh, have to screw in there and it's a, it's a much more secure hook. This one I could see falling out if you uh, have uh, too much of a, uh, if you drop it into your, your pocket. 
So that is, that's a pretty much specs. Now they both, when it comes to design wise, they both look cool. I like this one better because it's a little bit bigger. I like the different color variation with it where it has the black on the side uh, and the front. And I, I seriously like, love the LEDs in the front and instead of uh, beaming up like it would be on a drill. I'm gonna use these eight inch uh, timber lock screws. So it's gonna be good. And like I said, what we're gonna do is we are gonna test it out on this. So we're gonna use the three amp hour HP battery for both of these. And we're gonna first do a little warm up with, I think these are a four inch regular screws with a Phillips head. So we're gonna do that really quick and then move on to the eight inch. All right, I'm not sure about the lighting just yet, but we're gonna use this video as a test video for lighting. If the lighting in here is too, if the lighting in here is too low, we're gonna change it. We're gonna use the new impact rated drill bits from Ryobi. Like I said before, in with the new, out with the, out with the old, in with the new. So we're gonna do the P239 first. Now we're gonna see on how fast this actually takes to drive this in. All right, so as you can see, it is a full battery, full three amp hour HP battery. So we are gonna do the test and get that in. Go. Oh, I actually, Drill that in pretty, pretty far. Not too shabby. Now let's do the P238. Go. Wow. That took four seconds to do. Now there is a big difference between this one and this one when it comes to that. Two second difference. Two second difference. All right, so I just watched the video footage and over there is too dark. It's nice to have that for the background, but it's gotta stay here because I have a light right here shining down on this. We are gonna exchange the Phillips to uh, the 5 sixteenths socket bit. All right, we are gonna pre-drill, just, uh, just a tap. That's good. Let's get ready. Go. Time. All right, so that took about six seconds to do. That is absolutely insane. I didn't even know that it would drill. Uh, I thought that this, would, that this one wouldn't work. I didn't think that would work. So now let's do the P238. Let's exchange that out with the 516 socket. Perfect. All right, three, two, one, go. Wow. There is a significant difference when it comes to these two impacts. This one did it in three seconds. It did it in half the time and it did it much easier. Because as you can hear, the anvil, the the anvil inside didn't even kick in till it was almost done. So it was able to do it just out of the power of the motor itself without the, without, with little need for the anvil assistance. That's insane. I, I, I honestly, I thought that these would be like extremely close, but there is a difference in power when it comes to uh, this one, the P238. That's actually crazy. I didn't know that, that that would do that. I'm, surpri I'm surprised. But already since, since now we just did the, the individual test because I am right-handed, we are gonna do the test of doing both of them at once and then I'm gonna switch hands for when the job is done. Man, I'm, I'm seriously, seriously impressed. That's good. Drill the other one in a little bit. 
grab a tape measure. Make sure that they're both even because one looks a little bit more seven and a half. Yep, this needs to go in a half an inch. There we go. Seven and they're both at seven and a half inches each right now. So Alright, so like I said before, what we're going to do is we're going to do them both. Let's see what the battery is at. This one's still full. And that one's still full. So they're both still full. We're going to stay, we're going to do the P239 in my right hand and the P238 in my left. And after this, we're going to switch them out. Go. <laughs> time that one was close uh, this one did this one did in about uh, four seconds this one did it about six also remember look at my level that I'm at you don't get when you're raising it this high you don't get that much leverage to push down so that was pretty much the drivers themselves pushing it down by itself because you know doing this at my height you don't get much uh, leverage pushing down Let's see what they're at right now. You know, I actually should I should face this this way. Sorry about that. Okay, that is at eight inches and one eighth, and that's at eight inches and one eighth. So we're let's drive them in. That is at seven and five eighths, just a tad bit more. What's that at? Seven and a half. Perfect. All right, so like I said, this time I'm going to use the P238 in my right hand, the P239 in my left. And as you can see, doing like this on how arced my arms are, I cannot be, I'm, I, don't, I don't have much capability of pushing down. Three, two, one, go. All right, we're gonna have to do that one again. Seven and three eighths. Seven and a half. Three, two, one. Wow, that time that the P239 won. That is impressive. Not too shabby. Battery is still at full. Battery is still at full. Now let's see if we could do, let's see if we just could do a, a quick thing on taking, we have four uh, screws at once. Let's see if we could take them out. Ah, that one's too deep. I messed up on that one. All right, unfortunately, one of those is stripped in there. So we're just going to take these out. Ooh, those are hot. You know what, let's switch. Doesn't count. Let's see who wins. P2381 on that one. This one out. So yeah, as you can see, when I get to a certain height, I lose the leverage on it and it goes over the over the tip. Alright, but we are not done yet. These batteries are full. So what we're going to do, 6 amp hour and 6 amp hour. Let's see what the 6 amp hour batteries do. 3, 2, 1, go. (laughs) 
Six seconds. It took that one six seconds to do. Right, let's see how long it takes to takes to get out. Two, one. All right, so that took six seconds to take out. All right, so let's see what this does. In three, two, one. Wow, with even messing up, that did that in four seconds. Three, two, one. Alright, so it's only been a minute since I stopped uh, We stopped that test. We are going to see what the temperature is. They both did the same amount of tasks, so let's see what the temperature reads. Get that in the crease. That is reading the P239 is reading 110, 109. 109 degrees. All right, and the P238 is reading 106 degrees. So the, uh, the P238 is actually running cooler than the P239. So with those results, they, the P239 does do the trick when it comes to its job. Now there is a difference between the two by a couple of seconds, but in reality there really isn't that that really isn't that big of a deal. But the P two three eight did beat the uh, P two three nine. So when it comes to the winner of these two for this spe specific test, the B two the P two three eight is victorious. The, I I love this drill. It's more powerful. It looks cooler. The the tri-beam LED light in the front instead of on the bottom next to the magnetic tray. The tray's bigger. It ran a little bit cooler. Uh, but yes, uh, this is my number one choice when it comes to impacts in this test. So uh, I am uploading this video today because making stuff and breaking stuff, go check out his channel. He does this stuff all the time when it comes to brands versus other brands. So yeah, my, the, uh, make, I'll put a link in the description below for uh, his channel. And so yes, it, it's good. These videos are fun. These videos are extremely fun. I have a lot of impacts uh, that I need to test out with different stuff. And so I did get this today. The 3 8 inch anvil uh, impact driver, which this is model P263. I'll put that in the uh, visual right now. And so, yes, yeah, so we are going to test the crap out of this and uh, compare it to the original one. It's pretty much the same thing, but this one has a 3 8 inch anvil. But we're going to see what the difference is in a, little, in a later video. And what we're also going to do is we're going to take that uh, in another video in the future. We're going to take that anvil out the 3 8 inch anvil and we're going to put it in either in one of these two. I'm actually going to let you you guys decide that uh, when the time comes. So, yes, we are going to take the take this apart, uh, take one of these apart and replace the anvil with from the hex to the 3 8 So, yes, and I also got the quiet strike which this is P290. We're going to test out on how quiet this really is in, the, in a future video. And so uh, these videos are fun. I, I, this is my first time doing this and we're going to continue. So like I said, check out Making Stuff and Breaking Stuff. He was the inspiration to me making, making this video. And so things are good. Things are good. But the winner is P238. I love this impact. I truly do. So, that being said, this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.